So Netflix has analyzed their data and they know what you like, right? They know what people like you are more likely to watch. What's up you guys? I'm back with another video. In today's video, we're going to talk about data science versus software engineering, what the differences are between these two career options, how you can pursue each of them, and of course, which one makes the more money. So let's get started. All right, before diving into the video, I'd like to thank DataCamp for sponsoring this video. DataCamp is an online platform, a bootcamp for data science. They provide one of the best platforms online to learn about data science and machine learning to make a career in this field. Let me quickly show you around what it's like. All right, so if you go to datacamp.com, you will see that they're a platform to learn data science online. So DataCamp has a web app as well as a mobile app, so you can learn on the go on your mobile phone. Apart from that, you can look at their courses. So they have courses in Python, R, SQL, etc. about data science and machine learning. Apart from that, you can look at the career tracks that they offer. They offer career tracks for data analyst, data scientist, R programmer, Python programmer, machine learning and stuff like that. So this is one of the introductory uh, courses on Python and you can actually write code on their web platform where you can do uh, 7 plus 10, run code, and you can see the output in line. So this is the best way to learn, right? You can learn these skills best by actually doing them, not just by, you know, watching videos. You have, you have to actually write the code. So if you're doing it on some platform like Udemy or Coursera, you will have the videos playing and then you will go back to your own tab where you have your editor and your local settings open and then you will do back and forth, pause the video, write code. You know, so I find that a little inconvenient. Platform like DataCamp really helps you because they have everything on a single platform. So all you need is one web browser where you can go and learn the course material and write code then and there. I will leave the link down in description. Make sure to go to that link and check out the courses offered by DataCamp. You can get started with DataCamp for free. All right, so with that out of the way, let's talk about data science. Right? What is data science? Data science is basically a field where you're trying to understand the data, right? Uh, if you look at your everyday usage of the famous internet platforms like Facebook and Instagram, Netflix, Amazon, you generate a lot of data while surfing these platforms, right? So data science is a field where these data scientists actually dive into that data and try to make sense of it and try to gain some actionable insights from that knowledge, right? So let's say you're trying to buy a phone on Amazon and Amazon will tell you that people who bought this phone also bought this cover or they also bought these things together or they also looked at these other phones. So all those suggestions and recommendations are made possible with the help of data science. So big data basically means there's a ton of data and data scientist's job is to make sense of that data and gain actionable insights from it to take business decisions. So now what is the difference between the job of a data scientist and software engineer? So if you look at Netflix as a platform, right? Once you log into Netflix, you will see all these recommendations on your homepage saying this is what you should watch next. All the millions of people around the world are watching Netflix. So Netflix has analyzed their data and they know what you like, right? They know what people like you are more likely to watch. And according to that, they will show you recommendations. So you will almost always find that the shows on your homepage will be something that you like and will be something that you're interested to watch, right? All this is possible because the data scientists have analyzed the ton of data that they have collected from around the world. And using that data, they have gained some insights with which they are giving you these recommendations. So giving those recommendations is the job of data scientists, but the app itself, right? Netflix web app on your web browser or your Netflix mobile app, the apps are built by software engineers, right? So apps as well as Netflix servers and you know, all their systems that are powering your video, those things are built by software engineers, but the recommendations part is built by the data scientists and the data teams. I hope that makes it more clear about the difference between the job of a data scientist and a software engineer. All right, next, let's talk about the thing you guys are most interested in, the salaries. So according to Glassdoor, the average salary for a data scientist is higher than that of a software engineer, which is fair because data science in general is a more specialized field, if you may. Data science requires you to have certain specialized skills, like I said, the ones that you can learn on data camp, or you have to do something like a master's or PhD to, you know, to become an authority to be able to get these data science jobs. Like I said, data scientists on average make more money than software engineers, but let's look at some real numbers. So if you look at data scientist salary in India, according to Glassdoor, the average base pay is 9 lakh. And you can see around different companies which are uh, from 6, 10, 13, 14 lakhs. This I would say is the average salary for data scientists. And when you look at software engineers, 
the average salary is uh, shown as 6 lakh so you can see that there is some variations there from company to company and depending on your job so if you look at us the average salary for a data scientist is around 113k per year 113k us dollars which is around 85 lakhs if you look at inr and software engineer salaries on the other hand are shown as 92000 per year which would be around uh, 70 lakhs right so as you can see the average salaries of data scientists are higher than software engineers and there are a lot of reasons for that right because the number of jobs available for data science is much lesser than the number of jobs available for software engineers so one of the reasons and the other reason is that software engineer salaries can be highly skewed right if you're in india you know that some of these worst companies that i never recommend you join the service companies of india they pay you very low so they pay something like 3 4 lakhs so because of that the average is skewed down right so the average pay for software engineer would be dragged down by these companies but i would definitely say software engineers make very good amount of salaries and if you get into product companies and you're talented then your salaries can be as good if not better than the data scientist salaries and apart from that also talking about the number of job openings like data scientists will have less number of job openings than software engineers first of all most startups don't need data scientists because they don't have that skill and they don't have that kind of data to make any sense of it but the big companies do hire data scientists left and right if you look at the composition of these companies if you look at ratios right i would say around 8 out of 10 people would be software engineers and the remaining two will be data scientists right just because the company needs more software engineers than data scientists so the number of job openings is lesser so the competition to get these jobs is slightly higher that's why you would often see people go pursue their masters degree or phd to get into data science so yeah that's about the job openings so now let's talk about the skills required i've made plenty of videos about the software engineer skills i'll put some card up here and you can also subscribe to my channel to watch the other videos but about data science the skills required would be basic programming skills with python or r and sql obviously because you'll be working with a lot of data and the main skill would be i would say math and statistics right because at the core of it data science is a math problem and statistics these senior famous data scientists have done their masters and phd and they are statisticians and they are math professionals and like i said data science is a very specialized field so you need to get the specialized knowledge and data camp can help you gain the specialized knowledge at the comfort of your home so definitely check out data camp finally what career option is best for you i would say it all comes down to personal preference right me for example i am a software engineer and i like building things that's why i am a software engineer and there's no denying that data scientist is one of the coolest career options in the present day and age and one good thing about this is they are both very integral fields of the tech industry in general so it it wouldn't be that hard for you to switch say from software engineering to data science or from data science to software engineering obviously you will have to learn a few more skills but your experience on either side will come in handy for the other side as well definitely data science is a great career option for you guys if you would like me to make more data science videos i know some of my friends are data scientists and into machine learning and stuff i can bring them over to the channel and get you guys more specifics about data science because i am a software engineer most of my videos are about software engineering although i receive a lot of questions about comparing data science and software engineering as career choices so that's why i made this video if you like this video hit that thumbs up button and definitely subscribe to my channel for more if you have any more questions leave them in the comments down below or connect with me on instagram and leave me a dm i'll be happy to help you out well, that's it thanks for watching